Hello, hi guys, it's Jim. Um, I hope we're all doing okay. Uh, been a while since I've done some videos. Apologies for that. There's been so much going on elsewhere with everything else that's going on elsewhere. Um, so yeah, um, sourcing during uh, a lockdown, during a pandemic, is obviously difficult. Now we've, um, fortunately for us, got a lot of stock um, in the unit, but that is dwindling quite rapidly. I've made a few contacts in vintage clothing, etc., but I'm not going to do another um, vintage clothing haul because that seems to be um, one of the main videos that seems to be out at the moment from us guys because obviously we're struggling, uh, everybody across the board is struggling to get stock and it is a way of getting worthwhile stock. So we've been thinking of different ways to try and do it. Obviously there's places like Facebook but that is a minefield. You have to be on it at the right second to find anything worth buying um, that you can make decent money on. Don't get me wrong, you can find stuff that you can turn a profit on but the really really good stuff goes boom instantly so you have to be uh, quite lucky really with all that so one thing that we've decided to do is we've put an advert in a couple of local shops um, here is the advert I'm just blocking out a couple of the numbers um, from my phone number but this is the advert wanted we will pay cash for your unwanted stuff and then we've put some um, Obviously, um, example stuff that we buy, video games, golf clubs, board games, toys, Lego, Pokemon, etc, etc, etc. And then it just says on there, anything considered, let us know what you've got. Call or text or WhatsApp photos and then um, here is my number. Now, we've had that in um, one post office um, for probably a month now it costs about 50 pence a week so it's nothing um you know the expenditure's not not massive i've put another one in my local hermes parcel shop it's uh, just down the around the corner um and she's fortunately let me put that in there for free because i um go in there every day with tons of parcels so i know her quite well but here is the reason for the video we have had some success i was contacted about a week ago by a guy who had some toys and games that he wanted to get rid of. He saw my advert in the um, the post office, um, sent me a text and then WhatsApped me a few photos and we did a deal on some toys and games that he wanted to get rid of. I paid £40 for the lot. Um, it's been collected now. I've left it in the unit for a few days, um, you know, in quarantine, if you like, you know, just in case. Um, but I've started going through the stuff now and um, let's just see if it's successful. So I don't know if you can see, let me just pick the camera up, but here's the stuff that we've got. So there's a good couple of boxes of stuff. Um, there's also this uh, play puppet theatre. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I'm not sure if it's worth much. I might put it on Facebook to be fair, see if we can get rid of it that way. Um, but as I said, I spent um, £40 from seeing the pictures, I knew there was a couple of things in there that was definitely worth um, me spending the money on. Um, one of them was this guy, which is the Mini 12.75 GT set. Now, he did let me know in the photos that unfortunately, well, in the text, going back and forth, unfortunately, the Minis are missing. Now, that is obviously an issue. If, if it did have the Minis, it would be worth possibly up to about eighty pounds, um, but as it is, there is the scale electrics. It's all there except the cars, so the controllers, all the track, and then there's this box as well. I don't know if you can see that, but that's more uh, scale electrics, uh, track accessories, controllers. Um, there's a lap counter. I think there's a couple of bridges and all sorts like that. But it's all like the vintage um, sort of 70s scale electrics. You can see the old uh, style scale electrics um, logo on the back there. Not worth a huge amount, as I said, vintage scale electrics, but there is money in it. I knew that was there. I reckon all of this track, the controllers, the lap counters and all that, probably about 20 pound as a return. So that's half of my money back. Excuse me while I'm, I'm trying to lean and I'm surrounded by stuff. One second. Excuse me. As ever, 
professional to the last on the Extreme Booters channel. Um, so the scale electric should bring about probably half of my money, then I'm left with all the rest of this stuff. Now, admittedly, most of it is board games. I haven't gone through the board games. He did say he checked a few of them and they're all complete. I need to spend the time um, going through the rest of them, um, but it's worthwhile having. So let's just pick up the box and see what we've got. We've got catchphrase, DVD board game. We've got this wow science. An old electronic labyrinth. Double quick crossword. Nice vintage Mae Yong there. Now that one I did see in the photos and I know that that one can sell for £20 plus. Um, I haven't, as, the, as I've said, haven't checked it yet, but I mean, there, if that is 20 in scale electric, that's my money back. What else have we got? We've got this tan ground. That looks French. And then uh, car papers, Lucas Games. Um, I'll put that one aside because they're not board games. The other board games that are included were in this box here. Very loud. I'll just take the lid off that one. But this is again another one that's worth good money. And this is the Pressman Chinese Checkers. That one can be worth um, up to 20 again. And it does look complete, although I don't think the marbles are the original marbles. I think that they are replacement marbles. Put the lid back on. And the last ball game that we've got is this Spit It Out. Very nice. There. So that was the board games that we included. Most of them, okay, the Chinese checkers, although the marbles aren't good, so tenner for that, 20 if we're okay on the Mae Young, and then the others probably five pounds each. Um, but then there was other stuff as well. We've got this um, IQ Builders Capsella 500, which is basically you make your own um, electronic robot type motorised, well this one's a motorised fire engine it says there anyway. Um, that I've checked on eBay and that can go for around 15 pounds. Um, we've got this rather vintage Lego set, a ZNAR set 3571. Battery operated, 9 volt, and you can make these various things. Again, I haven't checked that. Um, not particularly value these uh, Zedna, Zedna, Zyna. Just a pair of Zynaps on the ZX Spectrum back in the day. Don't know if it's related to that, doubt it very much. Um, but that, if it's all there, it's only going to be worth a 10 to 15 pounds. Um, a lot of people see anything Lego and think, oh, good, 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 I'm in the money. Not necessarily with the vintage stuff. It can be worth not very much at all, as you can see with that set there. Um, the other bits that were included, where are we? We've got this electronic blues slide guitar. Um, no, they go for around 30, so I would think around 10 to 15 for it being used. And then the last few bits are mostly cars. We've got FIFA soccer on the Amiga. We've got some little, I mean, that's that's a draft. I've checked those and those can be worth up to 10 pounds because they're the old sort of 60s ones. We've got a Mercedes-Benz A-Class model, which is an official Mercedes. We've got this rather awesome Disney test car. Um, it's from, Disney, and you can see the price tag on the bottom there from Disney Association. So it's not Disneyland or anything, but it was five dollars in America. Believe it or not, one of these in America sold for twenty-six dollars plus postage. There are a couple more on eBay, so I'm tending to go more for around the twelve to fifteen. But that's just for that car. And then we've also got this rather nice Porsche Cayenne. Um, that is a nice model by Mini Champs. That 
itself can be worth 10 to 12 pounds as well. Um, I think that's it. There is, as I said, the puppet theatre back there. And also he gave us a couple of old, um, well, they're, they're, they're actually really cool, but they're old vintage rucksacks, proper hiking, camping ones. Admittedly, I haven't got them here. I need to check them to see if they're okay. So, yeah, so we've got all of that items, paid 40 for it, probably overpaid a little bit. Let's just see if it was worth it. So I've just quickly jotted down as I've gone through eBay and checked everything um, that's there. And roughly, I should expect sales in the region of 125 to 130 pounds. Could go up a little bit if I put it on auction. Depends if there's you get some people fighting over a couple of the cars, they might go for a little bit more. Um, the board games, most of them are only worth about a fiver each, so obviously you're not making much after postage. Um, so, yeah, to give you a, a, an overall figure, I suppose 130, if you take off roughly 15%, that's going to be about, that's going to knock it down to about 110. Then you've got postage on one, two, 15 items, at roughly £3 each is 45 quid. Off 120, no, 110, um, would be 65. So we're not going to make a huge amount of, of money after postage. I mean, those are the very bottom um, prices that I could get. So I will obviously try and sell it for a bit more. So paid 40 after fees, postage, etc. Probably going to make 25 to 50 at the top's profit. So it's not too bad. At least it's some stock. It gets stuff rolling in the store. It gets new people looking at my stuff. They may buy other items while they're there. And, you know, you never know what I'll lead from it. But he's contacted me again since, because obviously now he knows that I'm serious and I'll give him a decent amount of um, money for his stuff. He contacted me again saying, oh, I've got a load of vintage Airfix and remote control cars. <laughs> Got rather excited with that one. He sent me some photos through. It all looks pretty good. Some of the model kits themselves can be worth a lot of money. There's also a question of sport in there, but unfortunately he's checked on eBay and knows how much Mike Tyson is worth. So we're going to do. Be, we're currently trying to do a deal um, on the stuff that he's the second lot. Um, he's also hinted that there might be some other stuff after that, remote control uh, cars, etc. And He's going to put me in touch with his mates if they want to get rid of anything. Um, so I might get stuff from that. So from a small card, which costs next to nothing to produce, nothing, well, 50 pence a week or less to put in a post office, I've made some money. It's just another way of getting out there, getting some more stocking in these difficult times and making some money and getting some turnover coming through. So there we go, guys. Possibly another income stream, another way to get stock coming in. Who knows? Maybe it'll lead to bigger things. Fingers crossed. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all very soon for another one. Bye for now.